Hey guys, today we're going to be unboxing and installing the Smart Lock. This is the L60 by Pro Scenic, and they did kindly send this out to me for this review. Let's quickly go over some of the features. So this thing has six different functions to actually unlock it. You guys could do a fingerprint, a password, a key. You guys could use the app. You guys could use an NFC card or even your voice with like Alexa or Google Home, depending on the other accessories that you guys have at your house. It also locks automatically, it has a one year battery life, and that should be able to allow you to open your front door at least 3000 times. It's also IP65 waterproof and has a 10 minute fast installation. So let's start getting into the actual unboxing. And here is part of the actual deadbolt. You guys have a plug here that I assume we're gonna plug into the other side. So here is what the other side looks like. And we have like a nice rubber seal here. So this is what's gonna be on the outside. And this is gonna give you a really good seal to keep your door from getting any water inside of it. This thing feels really solid. And that's probably because this thing is BHMA grade three certified. So this thing is really strong. So on the front here, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna scan this code and this is gonna take us to their app. So I'm gonna get that downloading while we go ahead and go over the rest of these parts. They do give us a screwdriver for the installation and uh, four AA batteries. And that's exactly how much this thing takes. So here's what's in the small box, some smaller accessories. We have the actual deadbolt, some different uh, pieces here. Now they do give us two of these cards and these may or may not be NFC chips. I'll definitely take a closer look at these once we actually install everything because that would be really cool. We also have two physical keys, all the screws that we're gonna need. You guys have the actual metal plate and then like a little plastic insert that you guys could use or you don't have to technically. And they also give us this template. Most likely I'm not gonna be using this because this already works on most American doors but just in case you guys have a brand new door and you guys are installing this yourself and you need to drill the holes, they give everything for you right here. So here is the other side. This is the side that's gonna be inside of our house. All right, so if you take this plate off the back of the inside piece, there is a spot for that plug. So whenever we go to install this, we're just gonna plug this plug into here and then uh, screw it all back together. So basically I'm gonna start working on that and I'll meet you guys at a door that I'm gonna install this on. All right, so the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to unscrew the main dead pole. In our house, we do have an extra one just because this is a rental and the, the company that they use, they require two dead bolts. This is the only one that you could actually unlock from the outside though. So we're gonna just quickly unscrew this and now we have access to the rest of that. All right, and so now I'm just gonna twist that so I can unlock the door again. Alrighty, and for this part, we're gonna use a screw gun, just gonna make it faster. All right, and just like that, all of the other pieces on the previous deadlock are out. All right, so now we're gonna put these two in. We're gonna make sure that the top icon's actually going up. We're gonna start to thread this in, but not all the way. All right, so we almost have this all put together. We're gonna hold one hand on the other side to make sure it doesn't fall off. And now we're going to kind of try and remove this metal plate. All right, so now we're gonna thread the wire through here, that metal plate. All right, so now we're just gonna screw this plate into the door. So we have two of these longer bolts here actually that are gonna go all the way through the other side and kind of sandwich all of this together. And they do recommend using a hand screwdriver for this, not an electrical one. So we're gonna see if we could get this pretty tight here. It's starting to get a little tighter. And while you do this step, just make sure that the outside piece is still straight. And that's about as tight as we're gonna get these. So that feels really sturdy and I don't think that's gonna be going anywhere. Next up, we're gonna put the screws in right here to make sure that this doesn't go anywhere. All right, so next up, we're gonna screw this piece onto that plate so it doesn't move around. So I already have one screw down here started. We're gonna do this by hand and that'll just make sure that this doesn't go anywhere. And I did mess up. I should have done the batteries after um, I got this on the wall because there are some screw holes in here that we need access to. So we're just gonna quickly undo these batteries. So we have two more up here and this will make everything really tight so it's not gonna go anywhere. And we didn't have to drill any extra holes into our door. So that's really cool. And now we're basically ready to put those batteries in and start messing around with the app. All right, so if you guys see this, as soon as I press that, 
And now it's locked. So that's really cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the app and anything else that this thing could do. All right, so next up we are calibrating the lock. So basically we just locked it and we click start calibration. We're gonna try that again. All right. So as you guys could see there, it's done calibrating. We're gonna go to the next step. Now we're gonna choose our code to actually put on the lock outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and come up with one. Obviously I can't show you that. All right, so now we're gonna add a fingerprint. So we're gonna click add. And basically we're gonna go open this and use it from this side. Input again, input again, input again. And then on here, we're just gonna click auto lock just in case you guys want that feature. And then you guys can adjust the volume here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and put it to low. You guys could even set up a one-time code. Then I can't show you guys the top, but if you guys go to users, there's a little section here and you guys could add the NFC card. So basically we're going to unlock this door and we're gonna press add and we're just gonna set this right here. We're just gonna keep tapping it on here and now it has been added. So now we can just use this NFC card to unlock the door. So here's a quick example and it worked. Then here's the keyhole, the fingerprint, and then the actual code is gonna be right here. So you have to actually touch it for those lights to come on. Then you guys could see their branding, the speaker, and all the numbers. And then of course the lock button from the outside. So one other thing that I don't know if I mentioned already is that this thing can store a hundred passcodes. So you guys could have a hundred fingerprints or a hundred uh, normal number passwords for staff or if it's an Airbnb and stuff like that. So overall, this thing's really cool. I didn't have to drill any extra holes in my door. The app's really fun to use and this thing is awesome. So that is my full review and install of this L60 Smart Lock.